What is going on, Supers? Welcome back to another episode of Swoop Luke. In this episode, we're just going to do a bit of a preseason update. Let's get into it. So before we get into it, of course, follow me on all my social media accounts. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribing. I can still see that over 40% of viewers are subscribed. So hit the subscribe button. It goes a long way to, to helping me get the, the word out of the beautiful uh, Magpies. But let's get into this preseason update. There's just a little bit to talk about today. So first off, about a week ago, we had signed Oscar Steen from West Adelaide after training with the club for you know pretty much all of preseason, which was... Huge. Now, we talked previously about how it was Oscar Steen and uh, Oleg Markov in the last position for our last spot on our list because we had a full list. We only could choose one of them. Markov was looking really, really good. But Oscar Steen with Brody Grundy going down, Darcy Cameron, you know, tweaking his hamstring a little bit. Um, 202 centimeters or, or thereabouts, 19 years old, still a very raw prospect, so we'll take him a lot, but he managed to play four senior games um, for West Adelaide last season, uh, matches it with, with the big guys. Again, a bit of a project player, kind of like Aiden Begg is. I, I probably wouldn't see him debuting unless there's a lot of pillars that do fall, but Collingwood really love him. We signed him up uh, as a SSP uh, on, the, on the list uh, in front of Oleg Markov, and that's how it went, and that's how our list finalized until a couple of days later. Now, Zach Williams for the Carlton Football Club went down with an ACL injury, which is horrible. You don't want to see any sort of injury, especially an injury that's going to take out a good player uh, for 12 months, albeit you know he does play for Carlton, but a 12-month injury is just you know ridiculous. So if Zach Williams goes down, Collingwood pretty much signed Oscar uh, Steen, Markov goes to Carlton, and there's reports that Markov is about to sign for Carlton, and and a weird twist of fate or a twist of whatever you want to call it, Charlie Dean, one of our players, you know, Charlie Dean, the defender that we picked up from Williamstown, he injured his foot again, he fractured his foot again, and they've placed him on the long-term injury list. Now, this opened up, when you get placed on the long-term injury list, it opens up a new spot. It opened up a spot for Markov to join the club. And now, instead of picking one of the players, we've got two of the players. We ended up signing Markov and Steen. So we've got Markov on the rookie list, which means he still should be able to play. Be a lot of cover, a good runner, can run all day, uh, can hit a target. Probably won't be in the best 22, but we will see stints of him after putting in a lot of work in that preseason. I think that's really two really good signings. Uh, two sort of, it, it fills positional holes that we need and that we have. So they're, they're very good signings by the Pies, which means that I, unless there's another player in the long-term injury list, I'm pretty sure we won't take anyone in the mid-season draft. Another thing I wanted to talk about quickly, because this was just going to be a, a quick video, is we've been training a lot doing a lot of intra-club matches, and it's looking like Dan McStay is just going to be that deep forward, high half forward uh, player. He hasn't taken any center clearances, or sorry, center um, stoppages in, in the ruck. It looks like we are going to go with a Dan McStay, Majacek, um, Mason Cox, and uh, Cameron as well, Darcy Cameron. So lots of tools. But if they're not putting McStay in the ruck, you kind of see them playing two rucks like they did most of last season. Another thing on that as well is I've seen and I've heard so many good things about Billy Franton. Now, he came from Port Adelaide to Adelaide, Adelaide to Collingwood. They reckon that he's found his home in Collingwood because 200 centimeters, a tall timber that we haven't had for years, right? Since Jordan Roughhead went down, Billy Franton is going to let Braden Maynard, Darcy Cameron, sorry, Braden Maynard, Darcy Moore, and our boy Jeremy Howell do what they want in that back line where they're intercepting forwards because, you know, Frampton can play on Tom Hawkins, Jeremy Cameron, um, uh, uh, Kerno, uh, Mackay, and, and, and these sort of big players that Darcy Cameron, Nathan Murphy, Jeremy Howell aren't those sort of players that can play on these big, tall timbers because they're not those one-on-one -on -one defenders. But now we have a guy there that can hit a target as well and just, even if he's not getting, you know, marks or, or whatever it may be, he's 
punching that ball out. He's just a big body defender. And we found that rough head 2.0, which is such a hole in our list that we haven't been able to fill since Roughhead went down. And even before that, which we do now, and it's a very tantalizing prospect. Now, don't forget, we've got Hot Pie Summer coming up really, really, really soon. So get down there. It's an intra-club match. Um, there's going to be food trucks. There's going to be uh, lots of fun entertainment. Get everything signed by um, the boys as well. I'll be there. If you, if you see me, come say hi. I'll uh, be recording and stuff like that for a vlog. But like I said, this is just going to be a quick preseason update. Until then, like, comment, subscribe. Tay family, Tay friends, Tay pets. And until next time, double shackers. I'll see you later.